Hi there. You might have heard that installing Arch Linux is a tricky task. That's true to an extent. Today we'll see how we can install Arch Linux with just three commands. I'll be installing Arch on a real hardware. On my desktop. I've booted up the system with Arch Linux setup USB drive. I have connected the desktop from my laptop using SSH so that I can record the screen from my laptop and show you. Let's begin. If you have LAN cable connected, you won't need to worry about internet connection. But if you're on Wi-Fi like me, you need to connect to your Wi-Fi first. I'll put the commands in the description which you can use to connect to Wi-Fi. So, our first task is to update the list of packages. Use the command pacman-sy to do so. Now, if you already have a formatted disk for installing Arch and you know the name of the disk, you can proceed to the second command. Otherwise you need to get the name of the disk you're gonna use and format the disk. Use fdisk-l command to see the available disks. I am gonna use my 240 GB SSD. So I'll search for the ID of the disk. As you can see the ID is slash def slash sdd. I'll proceed to format the disk. For that I'll use gdisk command. gdisk space def slash sdd. The ID will be different in your case. I'll press X for expert mode, then Z to format it. Then I'll type Y and press enter to agree on wiping both GPT and MBR. Now, the third and the last command. Arch install. Arch install is a script for installing Arch easily. I'll show you how. First we'll configure mirror region. It's the nearest region to you from where the packages will be downloaded. Use slash and type a country to search mirror. Now, for the drive, select the drive you just formatted. For the disk layout, you can wipe the selected drive and let the script handle the partitioning or you can do the manual partitioning, it's up to you. If you're planning to use timeshift backups, you should use BTRFS. You can change to grub if you like themes in your bootloader screen. It is recommended not to use root account and use local user account with pseudo permission instead. If you're watching this tutorial to install Arch, then select Desktop. Other options are for more advanced users. Select the desktop environment you want. My favorite is KDE. Now, select the option according to your graphics card. If you're using NVIDIA card like me, better select the proprietary driver for best performance. For audio, select Pipewire. Select Linux, Linux Zen, and Linux LTS kernels so that you can switch back and forth if required. You can install other kernels later. You can install other packages if you want or you can install it later also. Select the option Use Network Manager. Select your time zone. Select Multilib in optional repository so you can download more packages later. Now, select Install and grab a coffee. You can save your configuration so next time if you want to install Arch, you don't have to do the settings again. This is an optional step. You can install packages if you want, or you can install packages after booting into the system. Now, exit and reboot to your newly installed system. 